both the OnePlus 5 and the 5T they have got a new open beta update which is based on the Android Oreo 8.1. In the morning I did have shown you for the OnePlus 5 but 5T has got some new extra improvement which is basically in the form of the, uh, some gestures improvement which is very very nice feature and copying that other manufacturers like Redmi Note 5 Pro already got the same feature. So in this video I'm going to show you guys all the possible new features and changes even though 8.1 doesn't bring any new at a core level it's just minor improvement over the existing 8.2. So let's take a look on all the features and changes and few of the features I'll be showing you on the OnePlus 5 and only the judges I'll be showing you on the OnePlus 5T because everything is exactly the same I'm just taking reference from the earliest video. So starting with the first feature there is a new auto pickup gestures which is added so which is basically uh, you know just sensors detecting your uh, ear placement and trying to uh, accept the call automatically i tried that on my you know fingers and other stuff it's just not working somehow it is designed to just read the i don't know just to ear stuff all the time so i'm just going to give you guys a quick demo here so if you receive any call i uh, just don't click on this answer button just take it near to the ear it will simply answer by itself so it may work with your hand but i just tried it with my ear it is working super great like that it is nice in case you are accepting a lot of calls in a day so this is your new art to pick up feature now ambient display got a lot of cool enhancement so uh, personally i really like oneplus ambient display feature it is one of the best implemented by any manufacturer except the samsung galaxy s8 devices which is basically very nice so you got a couple of new clocks here so going inside this you can see so comparing to the old one there was not too much but here clock style got a lot of things like analog there is a digital too some classics too so i'm just showing you with the old oneplus 5d side by side so just going to select this one here let's try out for the classic see what's new here on there so updated the oneplus 5 and 5t is on the old build so you can see the names got a little bit downside on the very lowest bottom text let's try out for this new clock and if it was rounded i personally feel it's uh, slight too much great like on my galaxy so here is the one but overall looks good and in future maybe we should get something new color background option now we have some new improved gesture so this is basically the old one before updating to this latest open beta 4 so if i have to rate it how accurate it is so i would say it is a 6 or 5 out of 10 because most of the times it just doesn't work for me it was half baked first implementation that is why it is yet not rolled out to the official the best example is when you are trying to type something on the keyboard it's just not working as great you know uh, with the two hand yeah it's, it mostly works better i would say eight out of ten but the single hand it was so impossible to you know just assume everything is super cool but no it is just like that uh, so i stopped using this thing i was fine with the navigation buttons but now with this latest update now this is open beta 4 for the latest one and i would say it got so much great enhancement now it is very very fast it is accurate it is reading nine out of ten time i would say even more than that 9.5 if i would have to rate it so as you can see everything is just working super cool so based on the glass on your phone it may have some issues because i have the temper glass so could be some issues but otherwise it is very nice as you can see now let's try out for touch and typing so i'm just going to use the same way now i can easily operate with a single hand which is very nice so yeah it is very great so this is your new gestures works great let's try out for other fingers yeah it is working fine yeah it is overall great but you have to get used to it it's so difficult in case you're carrying two phones together you know it's impossible to just cooperate with that now this is your settings option it also got some improvement and changes now you have some three different categories fixed navigation bar high navigation bar which is the some found is other phones too and navigation just just now you have a proper demo how to use it earlier it was on the first time when you're going to use it then you can only see it otherwise it is nice you can make it fixed you can hide it in case you want to but yeah try this new navigation one it is super cool now on the gaming side you got some couple of improvements too so here's the one so this is already present and uh, you got some uh, gaming control too in case you want to use some low fps i want to save battery or high performance uh, there is no graphics card stuff like you see in the computer but yeah i hope it should work and comparing with the older build so there were some new features like the block notification block is there this lock buttons and gaming battery saver and the disable automatic brightness these three features are extra added so let's take a look at the quick demo here so I'm, i have enabled this block notification here. that means i will only accept calls for any notifications my phone won't show any notification any no sign of peeping and everything interruption same notification i'm getting on oneplus 5t but not on this 5 which i have enabled the latest one trying again so i'm not getting any interruption on the oneplus 5 on which i'm playing temple n2 
it is good once you go to the application you can see this notification so something any application you can try it will be like that one plus switch even though i never use it got some uh, smaller update you can send some backup files from one phone to other phones so let's give it a try see whether it is working or not so i'm just going to send a smaller file with few kbs inside just to contact backup so issues are fine like you know it was uh, not faster in searching the uh, other devices in which you're going to send it qr code scanner it's working super lazy just not working so just be, be patient and just try it should be going there now i got an error that there's not enough space on the device i am sending and <laughs> surprising my device has a 9.74 gigabyte free and by the way this is 64 gigabytes variant so it is too much space anyway this is how it works now this is a quick benchmarking stuff from the latest one updated one plus five is on the open beta six and one plus five t is on the open beta four since this is beta build so your device may have some higher score because beta builds are not meant for uh, performance improvement they are meant to check the new features so uh, never expect higher performance from this beta build this is what i can say that so it looks cool score anyway guys by the way this is the stuff that i wanted to show you this is your updates for the 5 and 5 t stay tuned on the channel and check the description for all the accessories that i have used in this video thank you for watching i'll talk to you very soon have a great day